Are you measuring your page analytics on your, on your LinkedIn company page? This tutorial today is going to show you how to dive into those analytics, what they mean, what's the difference between all of them, and which ones should you really be keeping an eye on. My name is Louise Brogan. I am the host of LinkedIn with Louise, and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly tips, videos, and live content that I'm bringing here to help you to raise your visibility on LinkedIn and win business. Let's get stuck in. How to check your LinkedIn company page analytics. Let's go to our company page. So I'm on LinkedIn on the main newsfeed and down here we have my company pages. So I'm going to click on my own one, link in with Louise. And you'll see that I'm in here as the super admin view. So first of all, there's a little brief um, summary of your analytics here down the left hand side. So we've got um, 51 unique visitors, um, the number of new followers, the number of post impressions and the number of custom button clicks, which is actually uh, probably the most interesting one to me here. Um, if we look at the view as member, you will see that my um, button click is this learn more button. So that's that's where people are going to find out more about how to work with me, basically, which is the whole point of social media and um, to get people to check out your products and services. So looking at the analytics, we can go to this menu at the top here. And you'll see you've got visitors, updates, followers and employee advocacy. So let's look at visitors first. So the visitor highlights are they're all shown across the last 30 days and um, you've got the number of page views, the number of unique visitors and the number of custom button clicks. Then we go down here to this lovely graph and you will see that I have got both um, the blue, which is the desktop and the red, which is mobile. So it's interesting to see the difference between um, the desktop and mobile. If you want an aggregate of those, there we go. But it's interesting, I think, to see how many people are coming from mobile to check out your content. And over here, time range is going to be, um, it's a seven day. So it's the last seven days. You could do the last 30 days. Really, I, what I like about the analytics on LinkedIn is that you can change it to suit whatever it is you want to be viewing. So page views in here and then unique visitors. There's the graph on the unique visitors. So you want to say, well, what happened on this day? First September, second and third, what happened on those days that made people really interested in my content? And that's where you go to your content. Sorry, that's not the right page. That's the uh, content suggestions. And let's go back to um, those days. It was kind of around the around this time. So it was whenever I did my carousel posts. So that was the most um, engaging post I've had recently. You can also check statistics um, on each individual post as well. So it tells you um, the number of impressions, number of reactions, the click through rate, engagement rate, um, comments, shares and clicks. So you want to keep an eye on these analytics and we'll go to um, updates specifically will show us um, Updates are your posts on your company page, folks. So the number of reactions, the number of comments, and the number of shares in the last 30 days. And we really want this to be running along the terms of how much effort and time have you spent trying to raise the um, engagement with your company page recently? And is it reflected in what's happening on your graphs in here? Um, down here you have the engagement by specific posts um, and it's showing me over the last circuit so divided the last six months and um, you can see um, more information there so just looking through really you want to see all you've got the date it was created the number of impressions the click through rate the reactions comments shares um, follows and the engagement rate so very interesting reading if there was a post that was doing really well in there that you wanted to boost, you literally go in here and click on boost. Boosting a post is using paid advertising. 
um, if I click on that just to show you, um, this is going to take you through how to boost your post and you're going to select who to boost it to. We're not going to go into that in today's video. We're looking just at the analytics on the company page. So we'll go back here. And so um, other things to look at in updates are this is the um, the metrics can be changed. So this is the number of impressions, unique impressions, the number of clicks, massive increase on this day. Um, reactions. Yeah. So look at where you're getting little spikes and go and look at that content and see um, what's creating the more engagement on your on your posts. OK. And keep a track of it. So that's the update in analytics and then look at the followers. So your total number of followers, are they increasing? Yes, these ones are increasing. So that's super. Um, percentage change up 33% and we want to look at aggregate numbers. Well, I don't have the sponsored posts anyway. Um, so that's the increase in the last seven days. I've lost a few here. So interestingly, the same place, the 1st of September when I had the spike in engagement and clicks, it's also when I lost somebody um, as a follower. And then down here, you can see actually the specific followers. We're not going to look at those um, today because they are person people's names and um, but you can see the names of the people who are following you and why that's good is because if um somebody is following your your page and engaging with you it may be time for you to reach out and connect with that person as an individual and um, so that you can see the content that you're following but also you can then send them a private message to say why you're connecting with them and there could be potential there for um, some kind of collaboration or they may become inter be interested in working with you. So um, the demographics of your followers, and this is really interesting because you've got location, job function, seniority, and let's look at industry. So nearly 10% of my, and my followers are in professional training and coaching which is excellent because that would be one of my key um, industries that I end up working with. And down here then, LinkedIn suggests pages for me to track. So I've got my company here, and then we've got other companies down here that they're suggesting that I look at. So it is pretty interesting to see. You could check these out and see, do these people um, look like the kind of, um, do you think these are your competition? So a virtual call handling service is not um, my competition, but maybe it's because of the size of the company. I'm not really sure actually how they choose these. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> so maybe yours is more um, specifically related to your company. It would be it would definitely worth looking at anyway. Um, and then, um, oh yes, the other thing in the followers is if we look down at the, um, so that's the data for the location. So what about the data for seniority? Are these the level of people that you want to be engaging with? Do you want more directors and owners following you, more C-suite? Um, so uh, this varies for every single company. Um, I work with a lot of small businesses and that is reflected in here with the 2 to 10 and the 11 to 50 being my largest audience in here. OK, and let's have a look at um, oh, the following. Last one is employee advocacy. So this really applies to people who have got um, a team uh, who are working with them or you have employees. I do not. So this would be um, when if you have a team of three or four and they are engaged with your company page, you can encourage those employees to share your content out into the newsfeed. And then this will give you the metrics basically telling you which of these employees are um, getting the most reach for you. And that the reason to do this is not for spying on your employees, but it is actually to do with if there's somebody who seems to be really getting a lot of impact and building a lot of um, interest around your company page, Maybe it's time to think about bringing that person in as part of your strategy for um, raising the company's profile on LinkedIn. So hopefully you find this little walkthrough on the analytics helpful. 
You can also check the analytics, as I said, on each um, individual post. Just at the bottom, you just go and click on the show stats, and that's where you'll get that information from as well. All right, any questions, please do put them in the chat below. And um, if you have not yet, then please do hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next uh, mini tutorial that I share here on LinkedIn with Louise. If you have got questions that you would like answers to, then again, put those in the community tab and I will look at creating a tutorial to help you with that.